Welcome back to Let's Play Overlord, Raising Hell. We're here in the Infernal Abyss, where we've survived a siege by the Wraith Army. Unfortunately, since they're made out of the spirits of the damned, and history is chock full of bad people, I'm pretty sure their numbers are effectively limitless. I am a little bit worried at how much of this uh, stuff I'm coming across, I have to admit. Fuck that guy! Just a thought. Blues. Shouldn't the uh... These are clearly like supernaturally reanimated uh, skeletons or demons or something. Shouldn't the blues be able to kick their asses? Fuck, which way did I come in? This one. Got all turned around there. Narl says this path looks important, so I'm assuming it's. It's a labyrinth. If you see any rosy cheeked maidens whinging about goblin kings, or if anything starts singing, kill them. I'm going to assume that that's a reference to the movie Labyrinth. Because I remember hearing that David Bowie's character is called the Goblin King. But I've never actually seen Labyrinth, so all I can do is shrug. Please don't set me on fire! I smell terrible! I'm not sure how those two thoughts are related, but okay. It's you! And you brought your army! Oh, I feel so much better now. What the hell are you doing here, anyway? It's you! What a con, was it? Oh, I feel so much better now. Well, he's supposed to be in here somewhere. This creature tied me up. He said it was called. Uh, I forgot. Gotta say, I am disappointed by the, uh, eternal punishments for the, uh, bosses in the game. It's like they tried really hard to come up with a clever one for Melvin. Red, you choose all reds! That's right, like, they tried really hard to come up with one for Melvin. You know, where he gets to eat as much as he wants, but he explodes every, uh, every, uh, so, every so often. Because he's stuffing himself carry that on, much. Carry on, don't mind me. I'm soggy! I'm soggy! I want light! Is that, like, a hint that I have to blow to set these guys on fire? Because I don't know what that'll accomplish. Call this place the Infernal Abyss. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of that. I do not blame you. Go on, entertain me. Hey man, subscribe to the channel like everybody else. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't light. This creature tied me up. It said it was called. Uh... They call this place the Infernal Abyss. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of that. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't light. Don't burn me. Burn him. He looks all lovely and flammable. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't light. Wait. 
wait. Spin, everybody! Okay. Now that you're standing in there... Oops. Don't mind me. I'm Sargi. I'm Sargi. I won't mind. Reds. Like all I saw there was, you can see where you're going. Oh yeah? Sorry about that. But yeah, they came up with the really nice punishment for Melvin, and then the other ones just seemed kind of half-assed. And you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. I mean, let's see. Oberon was forced to watch a terrible play over and over again. A play that was directly insulting his people. On well, a play that seems to end with him being destroyed by a flamethrower, so that's alright, but it's not exactly ironic. You know, an ironic punishment for him would be like, he's never allowed to sleep again. So you'd surround him with really bad music at all times. Okay, what has this accomplished? This creature tied me up. He said it was called. Uh, I forgot. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's how that works. The light attracted them. It attracted them, so they ran through the wall. The creatures! I can hear them in the darkness! Corn Corn hurt! No, actually, yeah, Goldo was the sin of greed, and he, uh, became a statue made of gold, so, you know, that's alright. That's decent. Uh... Rich. 
Fuck, how do I do this? Anything. They're just on fire. Oh, it's so dark in here. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, it's so dark in here. Crush it! Crush it! One of those wraiths put something down my trousers. That's just inappropriate. Rich! I'm on fire! Hope you're happy now. They never trained me up back home in spree! That's really quite pleasant. Oh, tingly! Oh! Makes you homesick. Is not happy. Oh, and, uh... Sir William was, uh... just thrown out into a pit of fire. Burning for all eternity. I mean, I guess maybe you could stretch it and say it's oh, it's a metaphor for having an STD. You, I know you. You took her. You took my little sugar plum. Come here, I'll tear you apart with my teeth. Well, if it isn't our old friend Khan, looks like his anger has literally blown him to pieces. I'd say he's embedded in the wall, not blown to pieces, but you know. Uh, Jewel's still alive. We don't know what happened to her. Probably know she's still in a cage at the tower. She was the sin of envy. I guess really the only thing you can do with the sin of envy... Uh, actually, that one's pretty easy. You can uh, chain her to a wall and parade past a whole bunch of people who have awesome things. Oh, here's everyone you know living a great life without you. Look at all their accomplishments and things. Oh! Man, he was really big. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. One. Oh, why isn't it working? I'm having trouble with that. Almost like the minions aren't listening. Either that or my controller right to bumper is uh, not functioning, and I sure hope it's not that. How's that? I should not have done that. Wait, what? Hey, can you scratch my left leg, please? Ah. Uh, all I want to do is lead my guys away from it. Do you think Joel will still love me like this? You choose all. Absolutely. Wow. Ah. Uh, this is messed up. It's the temple of the forgotten god, sire. So this must be the infernal abyss. Forgotten God. When this deity's former spouse, the Mother Goddess, found him in the arms of another, she cursed him. Anyone who tries to remember him starts to forget him. That's almost as bad as death for a god. The curse must be weakened the closer you get to his lair. The overeating, the play, those females. He must be trying to claw his way back into the world, making every creature suffer as he does. There are a ton of switches around here. What do you want to go in there for? Gas 
yourself there. Quit fiddling with those switches. Oh, Dark Lords. Always messing about with things. The switches must be on a timer, sire. Bloody gods, never just have a door knocker and a welcome mat. Don't touch that wheel. I kind of want to touch the wheel, we got you guys. To watch now. <laughs> the thing behind that door is powerful, real powerful. Don't go getting it angry. Noises coming from behind that door. Piss. Quit fiddling with those switches, oh dark lords. Always messing about with things. Brown no, green. green. Go figure, I lost the ones who were the most useful in that last area. Uh, we got something to watch now. Go! your own chains. The gates are open, Master. Time to put a little hurt in on that meddling deity. You know it. I have just had a terrible, terrible thought. Forgotten oh, God? You and your little pets are gonna need it. Who the fuck is talking? Oh, there's an achievement for shutting that guy up. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into, do you, buddy? I never do. I guess that's in the other area. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. What do you think you're doing? Come Not so angry now. Yeah, at least it's mellowed him out. Maybe they'll let him out on good behavior. Brown! Blue! You choose all! Better you than me. Oh. Well, either was right that other time, there's no uh, mold here, or I just completely missed it in that fucking labyrinth. Let's do this. Even if. Turns out it is the forgotten one. I'm cutting this episode off right here so I can put the entire boss fight into one video. So, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Overlord Raising Hell. When we finish this once and for all. Later!